my favorite second grade class. I'm your teacher, Mrs. Jackie, and today I'm gonna to be showing you the water cycle in my kitchen. We've been talking about it all week, so I want you guys to remember four words that you should already know. Precipitation, evaporation, condensation, and runoff. Um, you should have four index cards with you, three um, rectangular ones, and one that looks like a cloud. And if you haven't done so, go ahead and cut it down to make it look like a cloud. You'll be taking notes on these with vocabulary words. And tomorrow you'll be drawing the water cycle for me with these words. These words must be in your drawing. First, I have here water. This is my sun. The sun heats up the water, the bottom source of the water. And what happens? What's gonna happen to all this water? I'll give you the definition and let's see if you can tell your partner what the scientific term is. The process by which water changes from a liquid to a gas. Do you remember? Evaporation, go ahead and jot down evaporation on your first index card and write the definition. Process by which water changes from a liquid to a gas. Remember that, liquid to gas. So now that we have our gas coming up here, what happens next? The cloud comes out. Condensation. It's the change from gas to liquid, also known as reverse of evaporation. So go ahead and write condensation on your cloud card. And the reason I had you guys cut it like a cloud is because that's exactly what condensation is. It's the change from a gas to a liquid. What happens after all this water's up here? What goes up must come down, remember? So I'm gonna demonstrate with my clean lid. I'm gonna place this on my water. What's gonna happen? Let's take a closer look. I put it in here. Do you guys see what's happening to the lid? It's filling up with water. Water's condensing up on the lid. And after so much water, oh no, we've made rain. Pretty cool, huh? What's that water called that's coming off the lid? What's the scientific term for the product, the condensation of atmospheric water that falls down? When some water's falling down from the sky, what is that? Precipitation, also known as drizzle, rain, sleet, snow, or hail. Precipitation. I went ahead and drew rain on my card so I can know that precipitation is when it's raining or snowing or hailing. Finally, after our water falls, what happens? Known as runoff. It's when it runs off to their streams, to our ocean, to our fresh water lakes, and then what happens? The water cycle starts again, and here we go again. The water goes up, comes, condenses, comes down, and then whoosh, starts all over again, known as the water cycle. So make sure you ask your partner for notes if you didn't get any of that, and tomorrow will be part.